Hello folks, I am back again with new video series related to computer vision using Python's OpenCV module. OpenCV is a very important skill to have if you are planning to venture out in the world of computer vision related AI applications. From past couple of months, I was suffering from a severe back pain hence I was not able to uh, share the new videos. I missed interacting with you for this entire duration but now I am back. So for the next three weeks, I will explain the OpenCV concepts from scratch and then at the end of the series, we will be developing three to four projects so that you also get to know the practical implementation related to computer vision related applications. Folks, Nitin here and this is the AI University channel. In this video, I'm going to explain what exactly are images from computer vision perspective along with how these images are formed as well as how these images gets stored on computer. So watch this video till the end. If you are new here then consider subscribing to this channel or if you have already subscribed then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications about hottest technologies of 21st century. Please show your love and support by liking, sharing and subscribing to this video as I will feel highly motivated. Glad to tell you that we now have the AI University uh, app as well as a website which is in beta mode right now. You can download the code related to the Jupyter Notebooks by enrolling to this course right here on the AI University website. You can access the related quizzes and a certificate of course completion like this from the AI University once I upload all the videos and once you complete all the tutorials including final quiz. So let's move on. Computer vision is one of the hottest topic in the context of object detection, face recognition and image recognition based AI applications. The basic building block of uh, the computer vision are these images. So an image whether it is a digital image or a still image is generally a binary representation of a visual information such as photographs, pictures, drawings, graphs, individual video frames, etc. It is generally represented in uh, terms of two dimensions because uh, you can uh, perceive an image in XY plane only. Digital images can be saved electronically on your computer or any other storage device. For example, smartphone. If you see on the screen, there is an image which was taken using some a digital camera and here it is shown in two dimensional space on x y axis. Each image is made up of thousands or sometimes millions of pixels. Now you will ask what is a pixel? Well a pixel also depicted as px is the smallest portion of an image. It is a single point in the image and when these pixels group together then it will make an entire image. Let's take an example. So on the screen you can see that there is a image of deer. This image is made up of thousands of pixels and we see this image in terms of pixels. This is how it looks like. Now each individual square box is a pixel and when combined together these make a complete image. Now the question arises how the computer store uh, these images. So if an image is colored then this pixel will be made up of three colors namely red, green and blue or RGB sometimes depicted as BGR or blue, green, red. These three colors in a machine or deep learning terms are called as channels. Each of these colors has intensities ranging from 0 to 255. Intensity depicts different shades of a color just like we have light blue, dark blue, navy blue colors. So red has intensity 0 to 255, so is green and blue. Here 255 is completely white pixel and 0 is the completely black pixel. And in between you will have grayscale range of colors. Hence there are total of 256 colors for each of them. That is 0 to 255 including 0. These 256 colors are represented as 8 bits because 2 to the power 8 is 256 only and that's why 8 bit of information. Computers uh, read this information to process the image. So every image is a representation of ones and zeros forming number 0 to 255 for each pixel and computer reads these uh, zeros and ones. 
Computers combine these uh, separate RGB colors to find out the color of the image. That is, if you mix different intensities of each color, then you will get the full color spectrum. Let me take as an example. So consider we have this heart image represented by 21 by 12 grid. Each square in this grid represents a pixel and each of these pixels are made up of RGB colors. Now these pixels shown as white color. For this white color, the value of RGB spectrum would be 255. That is value of red, blue and green color would be 255 in order to make this pixel as white. Next we have pure red color pixel at the four corners of this image. So what will be the value of RGB spectrum here? Well, it will be 255 for red, 0 for green and 0 for blue. Then we have these yellow pixels. How can we get the yellow color? Well, we can mix red and green colors to get the yellow color. So what will be the value of RGB spectrum in this case to uh, get the yellow color? So to get a yellow color, the value of red color would be 255. The value of green would be 255 and the value of blue will be zero. Therefore, we can get any color by mixing different intensities of each color to, uh, to get full color spectrum. Check this image here to visualize the concept. When we say intensities, it's nothing but any value between zero and 255. And each single value such as 0, 1, 2, 3, 2, 255 represents a specific shade of color. For example, if we keep a value of red as 10, then it would represent light red color. And if the value of red is 125, then it would represent a little darker red shade. And the value of 255 will represent the darkest shade of the color. Sometimes you have grayscale images just like shown here, which also has intensity ranging from 0 to 255. Since grayscale image is made up of shades of black and white only, hence it is considered as one channel only. There are no separate RGB components in it. Black will be represented by 0 and white will be represented by 255 and we can find different shades of gray between these two colors. Or numbers now let me show you uh, how an image gets stored on computer I will take an example of grayscale image so we have this number 8 which contains shades of white showing number 8 and shades of black external to the boundary of 8 see how each pixel in white or light gray is represented by three digit numbers and black pixels are represented by one or two digit numbers. So this numbered data of each pixel can be stored easily on computers in the form of arrays. That is, any image can be stored on computer in the form of arrays. And that's what OpenCV do. If you want to know more about arrays, then you can watch this video, link of which is given in the i button above. Please note that colored images are stored in 3D array because of presence of three channels and grayscale images are stored in the form of 2D array. So folks, this is it for this video. In the next upcoming video, I will cover another important topic of the computer vision using OpenCV series. So here is today's question. State true or false. Colored images are stored in 2D array. Please post your answers comments in the comment section given below so that I can get a chance to incorporate your feedback. You can also post your technical questions in the comment section and I will try to answer the same. If you are watching this video and you are not already a subscriber to our channel, consider clicking that little subscribe button. In case you have already subscribed, then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications whenever I will release a new video. So thanks for hanging out with me guys. I will be covering next topic in the upcoming video. So keep on watching. Thank you.